Hey, Black Cat Studio here today with the Searing Exarch fight. This is my first time fighting at this league, so quite excited. I'm recording this after having already done the fight because I want to take a moment to be able to point out some of his moves. So the first move that we're going to be looking at is Annihilation. He summons his spell up in front of him, and he has a very slow turning radius. So the best way to deal with this spell is to keep moving in circles. You might be somewhat familiar with this particular spell from one of the Elder Guardians that has a lightning version of this. Disintegration. Disintegration. As soon as he says it, have about a second or two to make sure that get away from wherever he's looking. He gets locked into wherever he's looking once he says that. So you just to make sure that you're not standing directly in front of him, because he will attempt to summon the fire on top of you like flame wall. After a second of that sitting there, it will move forwards and come after you if you are in the range. You can very easily deal with this just by using a movement scale or just walking around it if you are familiar enough with the timing. The next is incineration. You want to get the fuck away from this as soon as you hear that. I cut it really close here, but it is a wide range explosion. It will reach about 80% of the arena, so you want to make sure you're on the outside 20%, or you will be hit by it, and you will probably be one shot. The next attack is Thousand Suns, which is the Rolling Balls. This tends to be one of the hardest ones, at least for me, to deal with. So the Maven is assisting you by breaking up some of the molten balls that are coming towards you to give you a path so that you can walk through it. One of the most important things here is to make sure that you avoid using movement skills unless you absolutely have to. Your movement skills will save you if you put yourself in a bad situation accidentally. So, they should be your last resort. After that, he comes back and returns to doing his other basic tasks. If you're lucky, he will only use the rolling magma wall twice. I got a bit unlucky here and managed to get three times because I wasn't killing him fast enough. Right there is the main time that you want to be using your movement skills. Is when you get yourself into a bad spot, like this right here, where it's much harder to dodge out of the way of all of them, because at this point I couldn't see whether there was more in the bottom line. So even if I walked out of the right, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get through. So instead, I flame dashed directly downwards to avoid two separate lines. While you're doing this, you also have to avoid the lines that he's left on the ground. You can see them in the uh, top left-hand corner, the little circles. If you step on those, they will explode. That's one of the reasons why you want to kill him as quickly as you can, because the longer you take to kill him, the more of those mines he's going to drop down, and the harder the rolling magma phase will be. And that is what happens when you don't move quickly enough. With practice, you'll generally be able to deal with that phase. And with enough flame dashes, you can get through most things. The only problem is when you have multiple layers of walls rolling at you, and you have to figure out how to dash to the right spot, that you're not going to be dashing in between layers and just get hit me immediately anyways. That was my one and only death, and usually is my one and only death when fighting the Exarch. In the end, I ultimately took a little bit of a risk because I knew I had Culling Strike. Okay, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you can. You'll be able to see a lot more cool stuff like this. I have a lot of great things coming up on the channel. If you would like to see some exclusive content, we now have a Patreon link in the description where you can see all the videos before they come out on the YouTube channel, as well as exclusive behind the scenes content and stuff I can't release on the YouTube channel as well. Okay, have a great day everyone. Bye!